if I can have one wish, I would love all the nations of the earth, all the countries and governments to get rid of nuclear power stations all over the world. Of course, you may be asking, well, how do we fill the gap to replace the electricity that we need? I'm sure there are other ways of generating electricity and also teaching people how to use less electricity and become more efficient. Another thing I'd like the planet to get rid of is cars. The ways cars run, the energy they use and burn and fill the air with pollutions. These are the two main things I would love to change on our planet because we are sitting on a ticking time bomb. Let's um, take a look at this example, for, uh, for instance, the Fukushima nuclear disaster and Chernobyl. Did you know that the Fukushima nuclear incident is still an ongoing situation and there's a, there's a lot of secrecy behind it. Lots of radiation is leaking into the Pacific Ocean, polluting our fish and also radioactive particles in the air circulating the whole planet. No one can escape really and there will be a lot of sicknesses um, illness and people dying with cancer and genetic deformation as a result of this accident. Now I want you to imagine this scenario. Just imagine there was a massive seismic shift in tectonic plates around France, United States, which caused the nuclear powers to rupture could you just imagine, look what happened to Fukushima. This is a planet Earth. Our planet is a moving planet where it's very unpredictable and we're very unsure what could happen. Could you imagine a meteorite like the one that hit, hit in Chelyabinsk strike a nuclear power station out of nowhere and make one of the cores explode and have a meltdown? So you see, we are living on a ticking time bomb of nuclear power stations all over the world. Human beings are really crazy. We are going to destroy ourselves. Not only with global warming, air pollution, but nuclear accidents, nuclear war. I'd like to look and be optimistic about things, but you have to wonder when these accidents happen when we can't control it at all, we cannot clean and get rid of radiation. It lingers in the atmosphere, in the soil, for thousands of years. Just do yourself a favour and Google up or look on YouTube. Watch many videos on the Chernobyl nuclear accident in Japan. And you see how many people there are suffering. How many have died. The tsunami and earthquake that hit Fukushima killed 20,000 people but a lot more will die from radiation sickness so it's a, something to think about hope you enjoy this let me know your thoughts thanks for watching